Well, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. Today's date is October 6th, uh, going on until October 7th. I'm going to do five currencies in five minutes. Let's get the show on the road with Euro versus U.S. dollar. I have it on a weekly chart going back 10 years here, over 10 years here for the Euro. And um, I have outlined here the 124.64 to 125 level. Uh, in my weekend uh, video, I, uh, I talked about this level, but basically it's a level where we found, found a lot of different uh, support, uh, support over the last six, seven, eight years of trading. Uh, we did go below it a few times, but uh, overall, maybe about 20 weeks, we've uh, we've traded below the 124.64 to 125 level um, in the last six or seven, uh, eight years, one to eight years going back to 2006. So that's not a lot of time. And on Friday, what did we do? We came down to the 125 level and found support. Uh, we moved back above the channel trend line and we moved above the 38.2% retracement of this move to the downside. We are uh, moving up toward the test of 50% retracement and the 100 hour moving average. We moved above the 100 hour moving average on Thursday and Friday of last week. This was the ECB trading, uh, ECB day. And the market chopped around, moved above it when we fell back below it on Friday before the unemployment report. Um, that uh, gave the bias a little bit more uh, to the downside here. And I'll be looking for uh, resistance against this area right now. Uh, in trading. If we move above it, uh, watch the underside of the trend, then watch the 200 hour moving average. It's been since September the uh, 17th that we've traded above the 200 hour moving average. So I expect good resistance up there and see if the market can rotate back down from there. It's a Monday correction day. Uh, we've had them the last uh, three weeks in a, or two weeks in a row, and this will be the third week. So I'm not all that surprised. The, the dollar versus yen, this, this is one of those currency pairs that's been moving up and down, up and down. Uh, we saw the move to the downside last week and we saw the a full correction almost of almost full lap to the top side again on Friday's trade and today on Monday we're going back to the downside here despite the fact that we had a better than expected unemployment number on Friday now uh, this yellow area right here has a bunch of different lows and highs as you can eyeball those lows and highs through there and we just uh, fell below that level we also fell below the 100 hour moving average and the 200 hour moving average and what was the last thing that we did here against the 100 hour moving average found sellers against that level and pushed to the downside here. So we are keeping a bearish bias here and making new lows as we speak. Uh, uh, stay below the 100 and 200 hour moving average and the bias remains to the downside. Look for 108.79. And then look down here around the 108.44 to 48 level. This level also corresponds with a bunch of different lows through here uh, where the market, um, I think the market will remember that level and find support against that. Let's look at the pound versus U.S. dollar next. This currency pair, I'm going to put it on the weekly chart first that, uh, because I want to outline the 100, 200 week moving average. That's the green line in this chart. That level comes in at the 160.10 level. And then the 160 level is a 50% retracement of the move up from the 2013 to the 2014 high. Now we close below that key technical level on Friday for the first time going back to here. Um, but uh, today we're back above that level currently trading at 160.24 for that uh, currency pair. Um, we have uh, still had a very narrow trading range for the pound versus US dollar. The range is about 78 or so pips to the upside. Uh, the average has been about 117 pips over the last 22 trading days. So there is room to roam if the market wants to. Uh, above, the, uh, above this level comes in the 160, uh, 46, 48 level, which is the underside of this trend line. And that would seem like a nice level where the market would find sellers against that level. If we move above it, though, stops are in place. On the downside and move back below the 160 level will be more bearish for the pound versus US dollar. Let's take a look at the New Zealand versus US dollar next. And this currency pair, uh, near a double bottom here, uh, last week's low compared to today's low. Now very close to it within about uh, uh, six uh, pips of that. And then we started to rotate back to the upside. We came up to the 50% uh, retracement, near the 50% retracement, near the 100 hour moving average. That level came at the 78.13 level. Our high came in at 78.10. Uh, we still uh, have the 100 hour moving average at the 14 level. And then we have this trend line here, which connects uh, one, two, three different points. And that level comes in at 78.21. So 21 down to 14 is our resistance level for the New Zealand versus US dollar. If we're going to stay below that level this week, then we have a rotation. We have the potential for rotation further to the downside. If we move above that, because the water has become a little uh, muddy and we could see another test. Yes, another test of the 200 hour moving average. I think we're up to nine now, nine tests of the 200 hour moving average without going above it. That's incredible. Uh, Reserve Bank of Australia interest rate decision coming out uh, later on tonight. 11.30 uh, in a new trading day in Australia, 11.30 p.m. U.S. time. 
no change expected. Uh, we are near the 100-hour moving average and the 200-hour moving average. And safe, safe to say that uh, folks use these uh, two moving averages as your bias. If we move above it, look for further upside potential. We've been trending to the downside here in the Aussie versus US dollar. Getting above the 200 and staying above that would be most important. If we can't get above that level uh, and we move uh, further to the downside, Watch a break of the 87.12 level. Uh, that's a 38.2 of this last move to the upside. We break below that level. We could head on back down, test our lows again, although we're finding a lot, a lot of consolidation down here. Kind of looks like the dollar versus yen in reverse. A little bit, not quite, but something like that. My name is Greg Michalowski. If you like this video and want to see more of them, please click on subscribe and also like this video. Click on the like button. That uh, helps us out. And if you want any comments or uh, put any comments, please feel free to do that as well. We much we uh, greatly appreciate that also for your daily Forex commentary. Please visit us at forexlive.com. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.